Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, we are going to discuss about liquid measurements. So, to get started, let us see what is the difference between volume and capacity. The space occupied by a certain object is called its volume, whereas the maximum volume of a container is called its capacity. So, let me explain this to you using a diagram like this. Now, this is a cylinder of capacity 10 liters. That means the maximum amount of liquid that can be filled into this cylinder is 10 liters. So, now look at this cylinder. It's halfly filled and the amount of water in the cylinder is 7 liters. So, in this case, we say the volume of water in the cylinder is 7 liters. So, now you, you, you have to understand the capacity of the cylinder is 10 liters, but the volume of water in the cylinder at the moment is 7 liters. So, hope you understood the difference between volume and capacity. And now, let's look into a question like this. Find the capacity and the volume of the tank here. So, we are going to find the capacity and the volume. To find it, first of all, you should know the equation to find volume and capacity. That is, uh, since this is a cuboid, the equation we have to use is length into breadth into height. So, first of all, let us find the capacity. To find the capacity, we have to take the length is 25 breadth is 5 and the height is 10 centimeters. So, remember to apply 10 centimeters as the height when you take the capacity. So, once when you calculate, the answer becomes 1250 cubic centimeters. And in the next section, we calculate the volume of water. Now, when it comes to volume of water, the water takes the cuboidal shape but the height is different since it is not completely filled the height of the water column is only six centimeters therefore instead of height instead of h we have to substitute six centimeters and then the answer becomes 750 cubic centimeters so this is how you apply the equation of volume to find out the volume and the capacity of a cuboidal tank and then let's move on to the next section where we are going to study the relationship between cubic centimeter and a milliliter. The relationship is quite very, very, very easy. That is, one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. There is nothing to understand here. Just remember, one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. So, if you are asked to write down or to fill in the blanks, if you get fill in the blanks question, questions, it will be very easy. Here, 5 cubic centimeters is equal to 5 milliliters, 120 cubic centimeters is equal to 120 milliliters and vice versa. If they give you in milliliters, you can write that uh, same value in cubic centimeters like this. Right. So, let's do an example. A cuboid shaped tank of base area 360 square centimeters is filled up to a height of 120 centimeters with water. Find the volume of the tank in cubic centimeters, milliliters and liters, right. Now, first start, let's start with cubic centimeters. You know the equation for volume is length into breadth into height. Now, in this case, you should clearly understand the area is given. Area is given, length and breadth is not given. But you know length into breadth, this part, length into breadth is equal to area. So, we can write the equation again like this. Volume is equal to area into height because length into breadth is equal to area. Then we can substitute area is 360 square centimeters, height is 120 and you get the answer as 43,200 centi centimeter cubes, right? Then we know when it comes to milliliters, one cubic centimeter is one milliliter. We have already learnt this relationship. So, then 43,200 cubic centimeters will be 43,200 milliliters. Just very simple, you can write the answer like this. Now, you know the answer in milliliters. 
when you know milliliters you can very easily convert it to liters all what you have to do is to divide by 1000 you know 1000 milliliters are equal to 1 liter therefore the answer in milliliter you have to divide by 1000 in order to find the answer in liters so that you will get the answer as 43.2 liters fine now let's look into another relationship the relationship between a cubic meter and a liter now a cubic meter is 1 meter into 1 meter into 1 meter right you know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters so I can write it like this again each meter I have converted to centimeters now 1 cubic meter is equal to this much of cubic centimeters you know 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 milliliter therefore I can write the same value in milliliters once when you take the answer in milliliters it is very easy to convert it to liters you have to divide by 1000 then you get the answer as 1 cubic meter is equal to 1000 liters so remember when you are given the values or the volumes in meter cubes and liters all that you have to do is to convert meter cube to liters you have to multiply by 1000 to convert liters to meter cubes you have to divide by 1000 all right remember this relationship <coughs> so let's do another question a person requires an average of 150 liters of water daily if a cuboid shaped tank of length one and a half meters width one meter and height one meter is completely filled with water for how many people in total will this quantity of water be sufficient for a day right first of all we have to calculate the volume of water inside this tank or the volume of water that can be filled in this tank or in other words the capacity of water in the tank so for that volume is equal to length into breadth into height so here length is 1.5 meters one and a half meters i have written as 1.5 breadth and the height are one meter each so when you multiply you get 1.5 meters cube now the amount must be converted to liters because here the requirement of a person is given in liters so 1.5 cubic meters in order to convert to liters we know 1 cubic meter is 1000 liters therefore 1.5 cubic meters will be 1500 liters so this is the capacity of the tank we know one person needs 150 liters so to find out the number of people you can divide 1500 liters by 150 liters the capacity of the tank by the requirement of one person so that you can find out how many people can consume this water 1500 divided by 150 is 10 and therefore we can write down the number of people that can consume this water is 10 okay right hope i made myself clear with liquid measurements and how to calculate the volume and capacity then the relationship between volume and capacity see you with another smart math kit until then goodbye